Colin, you've signed a new three-year deal. How does it feel to have your, your future all sorted? No, I'm glad to commit uh, another three years here and uh, go again and hopefully push forward. You've been here for, well, a very long time now. It must be good to, to have it all sorted and know that you're going to be here for, for a little bit longer yet. Yeah, no, I mean, it's, it's all about security. Now I've got that security, I can just, you know, go again, work hard and hopefully get my chance and properly take it. How old were you when the when you first joined the club? Um, Twelve years of age. Yeah. So you've been here for seven years now. Yeah, I think it's yeah. Like seven or eight season, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Daddy, yeah. so obviously you've worked with a, a hell of a lot of people since you've been here. Who do you who do you think are the the key people here? You know, Steve Avery's been here since I was twelve, so he's always been the one I've I've gone to for advice and you know and even took in criticism off of him. So he's always been one that I've that I've gone to. Yeah, I'd probably say Steve Avery, Joe Francis as well. He's been here a lot of the years, giving me advice. And that so recent Jason Yule, been here quite a lot of years now. So no, it's really good to get advice from both of them. A lot of the young boys mention how how important and how influential Steve is. What is it about Steve that that makes him? I think he uh, he understands you more because obviously he's managed you at academy level, and when you push him to the first team. He's like he's so eager to like see how well you're doing and how well you've done. So he always keeps tabs on you, and he's just he's always there for word of advice. So anytime you need him, he's he's really pretty much the guy to go to. Are there any particular words of advice that he's given to you that sort of have stuck in your head over the years? Just always he just loves the the working hard part of my game. Always work hard. You know, if I if I can work hard, I can be any player I want to be. You know, work hard, have the determination. That's what he always says to me. He never really changes that. And he knows that like, I just want to get my chances. Just like, yeah, just take it. Like, he's, he's all positives when it, comes to, when it comes to that. You got your first chance in the first team when you were just 16 years old. I mean, it's three years since that happened. Looking back, I mean, that must be a really proud moment for you still. No, yeah, it's proud. I mean, if I could do certain things better, I would have. But, you know, I don't take it for granted at all. I mean... I was so young when I got put into the squad. I think I was, what, a week old 17 when I made my debut, something like that. So, nice. Nah, it's, it's a great feeling, you know, when you reflect on things and be like, oh, I've been there, you know, and hopefully I can get back to that stage where I'm playing and back in the mixer properly. It was Norwich away, wasn't it, your debut? I mean, what are your memories of that? It was a, a Tuesday night, a really tight game that we managed to win. Yeah, the stadium was full, so it was just, I literally just come on as Jacko scored, so it was like, it, it was good that in that sense, but then it changed the whole game plan, because obviously I was coming on as a striker to hopefully be an option in behind, but when we scored, it was, I think it was the last eight minutes left or something like that, so I had to come on and defend, so I was proper defending for the team and my legs were shaking just as I come on. You know, it was a big moment because obviously I've never seen a crowd so full and just singing all night long and, you know, seeing Joe on the pitch as well. Well, he wasn't on the pitch then. I think he came, on, came off a bit earlier for an injury, but it was good. It was really good. Since then, you've had a bit more of a taste of it. You've scored your first goal for the club against Dagnum. You scored a championship goal against Cardiff. You've had some real, some real big moments, haven't you? Yeah, I mean, scoring against Dagenham was probably... The biggest one, because I think that was more of a relief. Didn't want to go games and games and games without scoring. But at the time, I was still young, like I was still 17 at the time, so that was a great feeling. The championship one was a good one as well. I mean, but we was away, so it was just a bit like the whole stadium went quiet. We had our little corner cheering, but it was just frustrating we didn't get a result at the end of the day. Because I think that was like my first couple of touches. I think I scored within. Mm -hmm. But no, scoring is probably the best feeling. I would have wished to have more goals, of course. But then again, I'm still young and hopefully I can, yeah. I can improve on that and get into the right position. Yeah, it's definitely is fair to say that you are still very young. I mean, what are your targets now? You've sort of been a bit in and out of the, the first team pitch over the last year or so. I think now it's just trying to you know, take my time, you know, take every day as it comes, work hard in training and when I'm called upon to be ready and, you know, 
like we're in a good place right now. I mean, we're winning, been unbeaten, I think, five games in the league. Or just in general, I can't remember. But I know we're unbeaten quite a lot of games. So it's just building that momentum and it's getting harder now because obviously we're winning and we're staying unbeaten. So I need to up my game to put pressure on the striker that's ahead of me to want to get to the team. But no, I mean, I'm just enjoying it at the moment. I'm happy to sign this contract. So it gives me more time to get to where I want to get to. The squad looks a lot different this year t to what it did last year. There are a lot more experienced players here now, players that know this division. I mean, how helpful is that to someone like yourself? No, it's good. I mean, the players that have come in, they're so, they're so helpful. I mean, the advice they give you is second to none. I mean, they've been, they've been good. I mean, they've come in and said, listen, go out there and express yourself and they will give you advice. Like, listen, I've played in this league. Like, this sort of game would be like this. But no, I mean, the togetherness is so much better as well. I think the players get along more. I mean, we've got players like Crofty and Foles with Jack on midfield. I mean, Crofty's played Premier League games and Foles has played Championship games and League One games and whatnot. And obviously Jack has been at the club for how long? So to have them free and to give you an, an advice, we've got more characters in the change room now, which helps. So it's really good at the moment. It does seem that those players are really approachable as well. If you're after a bit of advice, you can go to them. And yeah. sometimes they'll come to you as well and yeah, give you that advice. Yeah, it's not tense at all. You, know, you don't feel anywhere about asking them anything. Like, you can ask them anything, they'll give you advice because obviously they want to better you and also better themselves still. So, I mean, they're good on and off the training field. I mean, they're, they're just all three of them. They're good lads. And everyone else that's coming as well, they're all good. Ow.